It is Pi Day, and we are celebrating this morning. Well, <laughs> yes, one of us is definitely. I'm not alone. No, you're not. But we're leaving it up to the math whizzes at Caltech in Pasadena to really get us going here. Caltech graduate student Kimberly Gobiva, who is pursuing her doctorate in math, joins us this morning. Kimberly, thank you so much for being here, and happy Pi Day to you. Happy Pi Day to you as well. Okay, so tell us the importance that Pi plays in everyday life, and we're not talking about cherry or apple. So I guess I'll just quickly start by reminding everybody what pi is, okay. which is the ratio of the circumference of a circle, which is the length around the circle, to its diameter, which is the length across the circle. So pi routinely comes up in a bunch of different areas within mathematics, and particularly when we're dealing with shapes like circles and spheres, ellipses, curves, or um, the idea of rotation. And so it's actually through this framework in which the everyday uses of pi becomes apparent. So for example, pi is vital in computing the orbits of known celestial objects within the universe. And it's also used in the design of important structural and architectural elements of our world, like domes and tunnels and bridges and arches. And it helps us to communicate with satellites. And so it's used in things like weather prediction and communication um, in terms of Wi-Fi and other forms of communication. So any technology that utilizes satellites. And scientists also use it to help measure like ocean waves and sound waves and light waves. And so when we think about our natural world, as well as the technologies in our modern day lives, we can really see that pi is not just a number, but it's a value which is deeply embedded in how we actually understand and interact with our universe. This is the best explanation yes, I've ever received because we're mathematically challenged here, to put it mildly. Um, so how are you all celebrating at Caltech? How are you celebrating Pi Day? Yeah, so we're definitely celebrating Pi Day. I think being a STEM focused school, a lot of people at Caltech get pretty into their Pi Day celebrations. See, I was telling Jamie I'm not alone. <laughs> no, you're not, you're definitely not. <laughs> No, um, I know that there's a few clubs as well as like Caltech um, organizations which are hosting Pi Day celebrations. So I, I really do think, though, that it's kind of just an excuse for everybody to come together and eat a bunch of pie. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Um, so we heard and we, we want to make sure this is true. Can you recite all of the number of pie, not just the 3.14? Yeah, so, okay, actually, the thing about pi is that it's what we call an irrational number. And so it's decimal expansion, it never repeats, and it also never ends. So for me to uh, rehearse most or all digits of pi, it would actually take me infinitely many years to Can do Can you just something. do it until the end of our show? Yeah, here's about, here's about up to 25 or so digits. So it starts with 3.1. One four, one five, nine two six, five three five eight, uh, nine seven nine, three two three eight, uh, four six two, six four three three. You're amazing. <laughs> that was fantastic. Kimberly, happy Pi Day. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Oh, that was great. Let's go over now to Amy Johnson <laughs> to see what's coming up on the 10 at 10.